we're at his family house right now. Uh, we're at his family house where the burial service is going to take place. So um, they are just doing their final performance before they hand over his body to his people. And so it's two burial that is going on here. It's going to be the church burial and then the traditional burial. Even though my dad is a Christian and we wanted a Christian burial, but it was still mandatory that certain traditions were to be done. You know, there are a lot of things like um, certain things my mom had to do, um, things we had to do too as a family traditionally. So that was going on on the other canopy. You will see them, if you look closely, you see them doing their thing by the other side. Uh, I didn't really know what they were doing. I didn't pay much attention to it. So yeah, so the service is going to start soon. So some of the footages are shaky, I'm sorry, I wasn't the one uh, filming them, you know, I had to take clips from different people, so some of them are not YouTubers, so they don't really understand um, stabilization and all that, so please, in case some of the footages are as shaky. So here we're excited our elder sister and her husband just arrived so we're just taking pictures catching up and before the burial starts tell me why um, the pastor decided to come late like <laughs> we've been planning this burial for months he was aware he was aware of the time a, a night before my sister went to the pastor's place. I think even my uncles, you know, still still remind him and all that. This morning we've been calling and calling and calling. He, I don't know what happened. Sha, the guy, he, the pastor, came late, so people were they were already agitated, angry, and then somehow, luckily for us, this man, thank God, is a man of God. So he took over and at this point here yeah, the pastor had arrived but well since another pastor had already started it the, he just uh, continued you know he took the service and everything and he preached very very powerful messages he even gave us a, a story a testimony that he also look at my fine face forget all these pimples guys i was so stressed i've been so through so much this year that man so yeah, like I was saying, his sermon was a very powerful one. Could you believe that he has a near-death experience? Like he actually died and came back to life because both of his kidneys shut down and he said he went to heaven and all that. So it was a very captivating message. While this message was going on, I know you will see my uncles on the side doing the traditional thing there, you know. Uh, you see them at the end of the canopy, you can see them there. So <laughs> yes, yeah, so after the sermon, uh, more traditional rites were done and then we proceeded to the burial site so let me let you enjoy that so yeah we are on our way to the burial site where he will be buried and yeah it's not far it's just a few meters away just behind where this burial service took place just at the back of that house Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As we pray today, Lord, in more power.
so we had like 30 minutes to go and change and yes the burial ceremony proper had started guests were already seated and yeah people were eating so we were just saying welcome to our guests we went to go around all the canopies this is me my sister made my dress by the way and i'm going to show okay that's her dress that's the dress she was making um with her hands at the part one of this video and so yes yeah, so so the burial was going on this um, family some of my family members my daddy's children we are a lot of i have a lot of sisters that's my mom's sister and yeah those are her my mom's family at the back they had their own ashwabee be. <laughs> So it was time for dancing and yeah, we danced and danced and danced. There was a lot of spraying. In this economy, I was surprised people were spraying 1,500 and I was surprised though. Huh. just opposite where daddy was buried opposite our family in fact in our family compound so this is bushmeat so we just came to enjoy the village delicacy we had bushmeat we had rice you know and yeah there were still some more traditional burial right today was the second day of the second burial so a lot was still going on today you know a lot of um activities but we still could find time to have fun and then finally this is ubi festival in asan land this is a new yam festival and this uh people you are seeing they came from the other village right here where that boundary you are seeing just after my house that's the boundary between my village um and um here we you know anyway do so um yeah <laughs> So it's New Year Festival, what they are doing, that thing you see them hitting sticks on the floor. My guys, it was so intense. It was very intense. Just that by this time, Sandfly had already made a feast of my body. Like they have eaten me so much. If you see my skin, in one of my latest videos, you are going to see how my skin looked like. So this today is the turn of my village. That was Rekia where that was the boundary. So they were going to stop there. So my village is going to go around as well and also stop at that point that uh my house the point between my house and ureke we that's the boundary so they will keep on hitting this stick to purify the land they will go from house to house street to street that's my sister doing her own you know so purifying the street you see them rubbing powder on their body also as a purification you will see there were a lot of costumes you will see men will dress like women women will dress like men men will do makeup guys it was so 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 crazy and because of christianity i heard that it used to be bigger than this my aunties were so excited because you brought back so many childhood memories they were they i think you would have seen them in some of the clips like my aunties went ahead to join 
in fact a night before they went to their own mother's village my grandmother's village to go and attend um her own which is not very far my grandmother is from Iruwa. it's not very far from where we uriwa Iruwa, they call it it's not far from my daddy's village so it was exciting this was at least seeing an original festival from where i came from it was fun 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 all the way guys i had palm wine palm wine in my village is so sweet not the nonsense i'm taking here in the north like so sweet in fact you might end up finishing a gallon before you know it and the thing is it's not as intense as the ones I've had in the north. There were so many highlights, many fun things I did in the village, but unfortunately, that's my mom, <laughs> that's her sister. Um, so many fun things. That's my sister. Like she was so involved in this thing. She and my brother. They followed them all. They went into their midst. They participated fully in this festival. But I couldn't go because Sandfly had made a mess of my skin. Like it has it I was scratching and scratching and scratching. My god, but it was fun, Sha. Then at night this is how we eat all together all my aunties everybody so it was final time finally time for us to say goodbye to the village the festival still continued the next day uh they were just like a thanksgiving so we joined them see my sister now oh my god <laughs> so this was the final uh thing we witnessed in the village before we left our culture should be preserved our culture should be kept um, these are treasures that should be treasured, you know, we are gradually forgetting where we come from. It's so sad coming to the village saying that most of the youths uh, had left, you know, who would develop the land if everybody ran away? Everybody have run away to um, abroad for greener pastures. So these are cultures that should be preserved. Doesn't necessarily have to be diabolic. We could take out the diabolism and modernize it. You know, this is the side of Africa that you don't see. Um, every day you know africans uh, have culture we have um, you know values and traditions where we come from this was beautiful <laughs>